So we started to change genes at random, looking for long-lived animals, and we were very lucky to find that mutations that damage one single gene, called DAF2, doubled the lifespan of the little worm. So you can see in black, after a month, they're very short-lived, that's why we like to study them for studies of aging. In black, after a month, the normal worms are all dead. But at that time, most of the mutant worms are still alive, and it isn't until twice as long that they're all dead. And now I want to show you what they actually look like in this movie here. So the first thing you're going to see is the normal worm when it's about college student age, a young adult. It's quite a cute little fellow. And next, you're going to see the long-lived mutant when it's young. So this animal is going to live twice as long. Is it miserable? It doesn't seem to be. It's very active. You can't tell the difference, really. And they can be completely fertile, have the same number of progeny as the normal worms do. Now, get out your handkerchiefs here. You're going to see, in just two weeks, the normal worms are old. You can see the little head moving down at the bottom there but everything else is just lying there. The animal's clearly in the nursing home. And if you look at the tissues of the animal, they're starting to deteriorate. You know, even if you've never seen one of these little C. elegans, which probably most of you haven't seen one, you can tell they're old. Isn't that interesting? So there's something about aging that's kind of universal. And now here is the DAF2 mutant. One gene has changed out of 20,000, and look at it. It's the same age, but it's, it's not in the nursing home. It's going skiing. And the DAF2 gene encodes a hormone receptor. So what you see in the picture there is a cell with the hormone receptor in red punching through the edge of the cell. So part of it is like a baseball glove. Part of it's on the outside, and it's catching the hormone as it comes by in green. And the other part is on the inside, where it sends signals into the cell. OK, so what is the DAF2 receptor telling the inside of the cell? Well, I just told you that if you make a mutation in the DAF2 gene so that you get a receptor that doesn't work as well, the animal lives longer. So that means that the normal function of this hormone receptor is to speed up aging. That's what that arrow means. It speeds up aging. It makes it go faster. So it's like the animal has the grim reaper inside of itself, speeding up aging.